Hi guys, morning from the UK. It's about nine in the morning and I'm having a quick coffee then I'm just going to respond to a few of the comments that were on my YouTube carnival channel when I woke up this morning. I'm going to do the usual. I'm going to show you my body, tell you my age. I'm 56. I'm 56 and a half because I'm 57 in July. And obviously my channel is mainly trying to encourage people to give the carnival diet a try. So one of the comments that was on my channel, and I thank the subscriber for making this comment, was that we do need sugar to live and to survive, and meaning to eat it, whether it be fructose or just the sugar or the carbs that comes from our food. And it's not correct. The body, with the help of the liver and the kidney, makes its own sugar. I think it's called something like glyconeogenesis, and you can look that up. Um, we definitely do not need sugar to survive. I mean to eat it, to ingest it. So that was one of the points. And then the other subscriber uh, said he was about to start the diet. Uh, he intended to start it in the next few weeks and I just wanted to do a quick how to start the carnival diet video only for a couple of minutes and um, to say how I did it. So obviously I'd hit a brick wall, I'd had enough, I was fed up with a big bloated stomach and I felt ill and my face had got fat and I was getting dizzy spells so I just thought something needs to change or I'm going to die. Yeah, so um, I just looked up the carnival diet. I liked what I'd heard. I was listening to Dr. Ken Berry a lot and I just thought I'm going for it. So I completely stopped buying anything that had sugar in it um, or bread. I completely stopped pizzas, spaghettis, um, pastas, uh, rice, uh, Definitely did not buy any sweets, um, any chocolates. Uh, I completely stopped any kind of treats, so ice creams, and I made uh, no crisps. I knew that potatoes were a bit funny with me. I completely stopped potatoes. And then I just went directly to meat, so mainly steak, lamb ribs, uh, eggs. I was cooking in butter. I was cooking in the fat of the meats. I knew that animal fats were very good for you, so I made sure I was cooking in that. I completely stopped margarine, which is poisonous, vegetable oil, which is poisonous. I know it's okay to use a bit of olive oil, a bit of coconut oil, it's completely fine. And I did go 24 hour fasting as well. So I was basically eating at around five o'clock each day. I was having quite a big meal of meat, eggs, fish, I did have some cheese, um, all cooked in lots of fat, animal fats, and I just stuck to that, and I was only drinking water and lots of salt, and I stuck to that. I was very good for the first month, very good. My weight dropped off very quickly. I was at 12 stone five, and I dropped to 10 stone 10, and my energy levels shot up very quickly, so within three days I, had, I was hyperactive every day and um, I just felt different. My head got clear, I felt very focused, very, I, couldn't, I, I felt more intelligent, which I know is weird, yeah? I actually felt born again very quickly and the, the biggest shock, and I didn't know this was going to happen, is that my ulcerative colitis, which basically meant I was going to the toilet, um, seven, eight times a day, suddenly went to one times a day I was going to the toilet. I couldn't believe it because I'd had it for 15 years. Um, that was the biggest game changer for me. So anyway, I stuck to the diet, I stuck to the 24-hour um, the fast, I never, I didn't cheat, I was very good, and then I did, after about a month, hit a point where I thought, I'm going to reintroduce eggs and bacon and butter just at lunchtime, at around 1.30, and then I would eat nothing until around 6. So 
So then I would have a 16-ish hour fast. At the moment, I'm only eating, I don't eat until three o'clock and I'm having an 18 hour fast. I still do the fast now. And um, the thing that helped me was making sure there was no foods in the house that when I get hunger cravings that I could go to and um, cheat basically. So uh, I make sure that if my wife and the kids bring, hang on, I make sure that if my wife and the kids have anything in the house that is treat oriented or bread, things like that, that it's hidden away from me. I, I can't touch it if I, if I get a hunger crave. And I'll tell you what has helped hunger craves, and you do get them sometimes. Um, I drink a pint of water, that seems to quench it. Or have the eggs and bacon, but coat it in butter. And that helped me, because you do go through a stage of craving things, you know. I know that for some people, when you're starting out, that you do have for the first few weeks, um, when you go to the toilet, diarrhea, things like that, but that will pass. And even the cramps, I did get cramps in my legs for the first couple of weeks. I found that just adding lots more salt into my diet um, basically stopped the cramps. I haven't had a cramp for months, yeah. So, you know, it's a tough thing to go through, but once you start getting to the point where you're becoming fat adapted, so your body is relearning how to live off the fat in your body, and not live off the sugar that's coming into your body. Um, once you start, when that starts happening, your hunger does massively reduce. You don't crave those foods. If anything, the thought of eating them probably makes you feel a bit sick. So, um, so your goal is to become fat adapted. Look it up. And um, my go-to main person was Dr. Ken Berry. I liked many of the others, Dr. Baker and Dr. Anthony Shaffey, but. Dr. Ken Berry was the one I would keep listening to his live feeds and they're all on there. You can get on there, have a look. And I, I was educating myself, educating myself. And the more videos I watched from professional carnival doctors, the more it went in here, the more I understood why carnival works, how it works and how to stick with it. Anyway, I hope this video helps. Good luck on your carnival journey. A tiny bit of veg, a tiny bit of fruit, if you're really craving, won't be the end of the world, but it is a stopgap until you eventually become fully carnival. And stay away from the fizzy drinks and orange juice, because they are very fattening. Fruit is very fattening. Vegetables have oxalates in them and, and, and defense mechanism in them that can cause problems in your gut cause serious inflammation and can cause problems throughout your body with aches and pains. And if you are pre-diabetic, do the carnival diet, you can reverse it. If you are type two diabetic, do the carnival diet, it will reverse within months. I really highly recommend this diet. I wouldn't say it if I didn't think it worked. So for a 56 year old man that feels 30, I highly recommend this diet and thanks for watching my channel and thanks for all your comments. Please subscribe. I love reading all your comments and I will reply to every comment I get. Thanks a lot.